Hey guys, so today what we are going to do is we are going to draw a realistic looking hand and we are going to use warm colors and cool colors. So please continue watching. Alright guys, so the first thing that we need to talk about is warm colors and cool colors. And the warm colors have yellow, red, and orange. The reason why it's called warm colors is because things that are usually warm tend to have those colors. So for example, a fire. A fire has red, yellow, orange in it. The next is cool colors. And cool colors, they have purple, blue, and green. And what I like to tell kids is to think about Elsa colors. So with our project, what you're going to need is you are going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, and something to color with like markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you would like to do. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to trace our hand. So if you have a hard time doing this, I would recommend that you ask someone to do this for you. All right, so after you have your hand drawn, what I would do is I would kind of section my paper off lightly. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, okay? And notice that I drew my lines extremely light because we're going to erase these later, okay? So I'm going to start with my first section and I think I want to start at the bottom and you are going to either pick cool colors or warm colors. So I'm going to pick cool colors. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off by drawing a straight line. And once you hit any part of your arm or your hand, the line is going to curve up. Then whenever you go back to your background, the line is going to be straight. So I'm gonna show you guys here. And what I like to do is I like to kind of turn my paper because that's easier for me. But notice, once I touch my hand, I curve that line. So now I think I wanna use blue. And you can do whatever pattern you would like. If your cool colors, you just wanna use like blues and purples, like different shades of that, you can. So let's see. So I am going to keep going with that. And then in my next section, I will do warm colors and then cool colors and then warm colors. All right, guys. So I wanted to kind of show you all more of a complicated part. So I, I am about to start my cool color section again, and I'm gonna get to a point where I am in my thumb. So I'm actually going to curve up again. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do this. So again, I turn my paper, you don't have to. So I get to this part of my hand and I'm gonna curve up. Then I'm gonna go straight. Then I'm going to curve up again and go straight. So you're gonna kinda of see like right in here, there is an area 
right? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to kind of fill this in like so. So now it kind of makes a little more sense. So you're going to keep going until you fill up the whole page. Alright guys, so now what you have is you have a 3D looking hand. And what you can do to make this look a little more realistic is you can kind of go through and outline this a little with your pencil. Okay, do you all see that? And then you can like kind of shade really lightly around it. So you kind of just lightly, lightly color. So you don't press hard. You press really, really light. And then you can kind of take your finger and blend it out so you can have something like that. So I'm going to do that around the rest of my hand. Again, this is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just thought it would look neat. But anyway, guys, I hope that you are having a great day. And if you have any questions, uh, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. And don't forget to turn in your project onto Flipgrid. Anyway, I hope that you guys have a great day. Bye.